Alrighty, so I just wanted to take a second to thank everyone that met me yesterday. It was super awesome to meet all of you guys. Um, I, I couldn't be more humbled by everyone coming up and wanting to meet me uh, for just doing these construction updates. Thanks so much for continuing to watch my channel. Um, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to see now that everyone knows what Yukon Striker is. All right, on that note, I wanted to say I reached out to the park to get some facts. A lot of you were asking me a lot of questions yesterday, and I wanted to reach out and get some numbers for you. So I reached out to Grace Peacock, the head of communications at Wonderland, and uh, we got some numbers for the first Immelman loop out of the tunnel. So it is 57 meters above the floor of the tunnel, which is 187 feet. It's 45 meters above the ground at the exit of the tunnel, which is 147 feet, and 50 meters above the surface of the lake, which is 164 feet. The, t the height of the lift hill is 223 feet, so it is equivalent to Valraven. Very interesting, right? So um, hopefully that those numbers help you out, um, and thanks to Grace for giving me those numbers as well. So I wanted to touch on Vortex just a bit. Um, based off of the interviews that we did and listening around and interacting with the uh, the higher-ups of the park, it definitely sounds like Vortex is go due for a retheme and maybe a paint job and a new name. We'll have to wait and see. They're not ready to announce anything yet. And there is actually more information on Frontier Canada to be announced at a later date as well. The renderings did not show um, theming for the station or the queue line or for the coaster at all. They were made at an earlier date, and that is why not everything is shown in those renderings. So that's exciting as well. Um, I also expect a few other things like restaurants and all that to be announced earlier in the season next year. Um, and I'm super excited for that as well. Now let's get to the construction. So they are, as you know, watching these updates to off to a very quick start. Every day I go, and literally I go every day, there is more work being done and more supports and more columns installed. Um, and it's absolutely amazing how quickly this team can get this coaster put into place. I mean, I'm hearing the lift hill is going to be installed by Labor Day. That's crazy. That's like three weeks away, three weeks maybe three and a half, I have no idea, three weeks away, and this lift hill is going to be installed. I mean, at this rate, it doesn't surprise me that much, but that's crazy. Um, I'm super excited about that, and uh, I look forward to following this construction every weekday. Um, the drone will be going up. In fact, I'm probably looking forward to um, looking to get it up tomorrow morning, so stay tuned for that. Uh, it'll be our first drone shots in a, quite a while, and uh, I mean, it's definitely a different perspective getting shots from above. Um, but it looks like they brought in this massive brake piece, the clamp clamp section of the brake run, and they're going to be putting it in place probably tomorrow if I had to take a guess, because they're still working on the um, storage shed for the, uh, the coaster trains. Um, now, I did um, get some really great information from a guy named Surya. Surya is very well known at Wonderland. He is the guy that can flip a ton on... Skyhawk and Surya has been very helpful in terms of helping me learn terminology and uh, facts about coasters. So that little dip that we're seeing after the vertical loop is actually what is actually called a runway. Um, it's a runway to gain more speed and momentum to get through that element of the coaster. And that actually makes a lot of sense. So that little deep dip you're seeing there is called the runway, and it's definitely there to build up a little extra speed to get through that element. So I just wanted to share that with you because when he told me that, I was actually like, that makes a lot of sense, and uh, that's really cool, and thanks for sharing that. So hopefully you guys enjoy all these um, construction updates and continue to watch, subscribe, um, and share these videos for others to see as... I did not know this would be this popular doing these construction updates and I was so humbled uh, for all of you coming up to me saying how much you enjoyed them. Um, it really meant a lot to me. You don't understand. I am a huge fan of Wonderland. Obviously, um, I'm there every day and it's just awesome that I'm doing something that I love and you guys love it too. So thanks so much. Um, continue to watch. Um, smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't and share these videos for others to watch. Anyways, hopefully I'll see you guys at the park sometime soon. Have a good one. Bye.